summarizing what we know so far about indices. If we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, that's four threes in a row, we know that we can write this in a shorthand notation as 3 to the power 4. 2 to the 4 would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. The number of 2's in the row is the same as the power. We also have some index laws. We know that a to the power m multiplied by a to the power n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. So if we have 3 to the power 4 multiplied by 3 to the power 5 this gives us 3 to the power of 4 plus 5 which is 9. If we have a to the power m and we divide this by a to the power n then we get a to the power of m minus n. So for 3 to the 10 divided by 3 to the 5, we get 3 to the 10 take away 5, which is 5. Continuing our summary of what we know so far about indices, here we have a negative index, 3 to the power of minus 2. We have an index law that says that a to the minus n is the same as 1 over a to the n. See the effect of the negative in the index. Following this, 3 to the power of minus 2 must be 1 over 3 squared. 3 squared we know is 9, so this evaluates to 1 ninth. We also know about the zero index. Any number to the power zero is one, and therefore four to the power zero is one.